erosion by gravity. Gravity is the number one force behind erosion. Gravity erosion is very common. Gravity causes movement of sediments downhill. Gravity erosion is called mass movement. Mass movement is sometimes called mass wasting. There are four types of mass movement. The first type is called soil creep. Soil creep involves very slow movement. Creep is the slow down slope movement of superficial soil of rock debris in long duration. There are several clues to look for along hillsides to know that soil creep has occurred. One clue is curved tree trunks. As the soil moves, the trees bend to remain upright. The tree trunks take on a curved appearance. As well as curved tree trunks, other clues to look for are tilted poles, soil ripples, and fences out of alignment. Fences may become tilted due to the motion of the soil beneath them. Fences will tilt in the direction of the soil motion. Tilted gravestones are also a clue that soil creep is occurring. Soil creep happens so slowly it's hard to detect. However, you can look for clues like the tilted structures and partially covered roadways. The second type of mass movement is called slump. The motion of soil during slump leaves very distinct features on the landscape. third type of mass movement are mudslides. Mudslides occur in areas of steep slopes. Mudslides occur when the soil is saturated with water. The saturated soil turns to mud and moves downhill. The movement is often rapid. Mudslides can be quite devastating. Mudslides may cover homes and villages. The fourth type of mass movement are landslides. The removal of vegetation increases the likelihood of landslides. Landslides also include rock slides. Rock slides can contain massive rocks. Unlike mudslides, rock slides are relatively dry. However, water does decrease friction, increasing the risk of a rock slide. Rock slides may cause devastation. Avalanches involve the motion of snow.
The sediments that are deposited by mass movement are unsorted. Sediments are different sizes. Sediments are different shapes. Sediments are angular with sharp edges. Sediments are not deposited in layers. Review gravity erosion. Gravity erosion is called mass movement or mass wasting. Gravity causes erosion. There are several examples of mass motion. Going from slowest to fastest are creep, slump, landslides, mudslides, and avalanches. Soil creep, slow, persistent downslope movement of surface soil. Clues include tilted trees and accumulated soil at the foot of the slope. Clues of soil creep, the bent tree trunks, the tilted fences. The second type of mass movement, slumping. Clue, look for scars on the landscape. Third type, mudslides, occurring on steep slopes. Mudslides are most likely to occur after rain has saturated the soil. Mudslides move quickly. Mudslides may cover homes and villages. The fourth type of mass movement are landslides. Landslides occur on slopes. The removal of vegetation may increase the risk of a landslide. A type of landslide is a rock slide. Rock slides occur when layers of rock slip down slopes suddenly. Commonly occur on steep slopes in mountainous areas or areas with steep cliffs and happen most often after heavy rains or Earthquakes. Another type of landslide is an avalanche, which involves snow. Sediments deposited by mass movement are unsorted, unlayered, and angular, meaning they are different sizes and shapes. They are unlayered, and they are likely to have sharp edges.